so so you and I, um, we got in contact the first time when I randomly uh, found your number online and called you when I was at university and needed quick advice around the Latin square design uh, for my research. Yeah. Um, after that, surprisingly, we start working together when I started Soundtrack of Brown, a small world in Stockholm, I would say. Yeah, it is, yeah. By then, you had already written the research over your report, The Influence of Music and Consumer Behavior for Soundtrack of Brown. So do you remember our call and how did your relationship with the Soundtrack of Brown start? Yeah, yeah, I very much remember our call. <laughs> it was <laughs> very short. Study, which was fascinating. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, and I, and I, it's, it's, uh, yeah, I did. I, I actually started to write, uh, uh, do stuff with Soundtrack Beyond because um, I was interviewed by one of the leading Swedish magazines, uh, Dagens Nyheter, uh, about um, uh, music or Christmas music during the Christmas mm. holidays in, in retail stores. And that's the classical that I, I, <laughs> I have to talk every Christmas season. <laughs> um, so, yeah, but uh, it, it, so I, I, I talked about because I was very into this field of sensory marketing. I thought it was a fascinating field. Uh, and you could do a lot of interesting research and I have read about it. So I talked to this uh, newspaper about uh, the research on the influence of music in stores. Uh, and uh, Ola Sarsu, the CEO of Soundtrack Brand, he called me up and said, uh, well, this was so fascinating. We need to talk. And we had a meeting and we kind of connected immediately. And then he said to me that I would like you to write this kind of summary of the of the research. Um, but what do we know about uh, background music and how it influences customers? And what do we don't we know? And what do what do we need to do more research on? So that, that's actually the basis of that report. I actually uh, found a copy here, so I have one. It's in, it's in Swedish, unfortunately, but... Uh, well, I have uh, actually translated to English yeah, I think, I think online. I translated that at Soundtrack Your Brand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good on you, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so no, it, it's, it, it was a nice report. And actually, all the research we have done afterwards is in some kind based on, mm. uh, on that kind of literature overview. That, mm. I, that I made for, for Soundtrack Your Brand. Mm. And what are the key findings uh, from that report? Uh, well, I, I would say that one is that um, music matters. Uh, I mean, and it can matter a lot. Uh, that's one finding I would say. Uh, uh, I'm also a bit critical to, to the studies that I <laughs> overviewed in that report because many of them, I thought they had a very, very poor research design. Mm. Mm, you were not really sure if they actually measured the effect of music or if they measured something else. Uh, I think many of them have what we call omitted variable bias. Uh, and uh, there is probably a strong, uh, I, I sense that there is a strong publication bias also in the case that unfortunately in science, uh, you really have a big trouble publish papers that find non-significant results. Mm. Uh, and uh, I expect here that there are many, many studies out there that have tested music in different store environments or in restaurants or whatever. I haven't found anything, but mm. they're not published. Mm. Uh, so it's a bit also, I would say, a bit, uh, be a bit cautious when you read the, the, the science because they mostly present uh, positive and significant results of in-store music. And I would say it's not that easy. It's in-store music is very context dependent and it works in some cases, in other cases it doesn't work. And uh, so I think you can get the wrong impression by reading a lot of the studies that are out there. And that was one of the things that I, that I actually discussed in the paper. I think I had one in chapter called the devils are in the devil, uh, the devil is in the details or something like that, where I, it's, where I discussed this quite a lot. Well, I think uh, you're right, because what is important um, is that you understand how was the music picked? Because majority of the time, what I feel when I read those researchers is that they randomly take rock <laughs> and then they take love music in, in, a, in a flower shop. Yeah, I mean, it can't be that obvious either. You really have to think about the branding. That's why my 
uh, university thesis was almost you could say the first one that really ripped into like brand fit uh, kind yeah. of music and and also look at the design as you say because a lot of them are using one store yeah during one week or maybe two <laughs> weeks so yeah yeah i actually have found some i think some of the papers that i write about in that in that uh, summary they were actually conducted like in one store during two weeks and then you have the experiment period when you're playing the music uh, during the last week and that was the week also closest to salaries and closer to christmas you know so maybe everything is driven by by that and uh, not by the music and they yeah. have a huge impact of, of the music also so you, the, the the large estimates also made me a bit suspicious that this can't be right mm -hmm.